Yeah, Purdue, Purdue's a very good Big Ten football team. They've got the talent, the, the size, the length. They've got a young quarterback that I think is uh, getting better every game. And they've got a very good running attack. Uh, defensively, uh, they're, they're really big up front and they're fast in the back. Well, <clears throat> you know, you always want to go out and do well. That's first and foremost, you know. Sometimes those kind of games can get away from you. Uh, and and uh, the, the biggest challenge really is getting your team prepared, especially a, a team with guys that's never been in that arena, how to focus through four quarters, especially the first quarter when they see the crowd and all the other things that they're not accustomed to seeing. But uh, typically, when you get, once you get going, you, you know, if things are going along fine, you can hang in there. But uh, we have to do it. So we prepare the best we can and focus on ourselves. Please. Yeah, you, it, it's uh, probably 50-50. There's a few guys that's been in that arena before. Uh, we went up to Ball State and played up there, but this is a, a much bigger arena than, than a Ball State. And, uh, but, uh, you know, what I'm counting on is, is early enough that the, the, the guys, that the veterans that's been in the arena before kind of help bring along the guys that's not experienced in that type of thing. Yeah, well, we, we play one play at a time. That's not going to change. Yeah. That's what we do. And, uh, you know, when we practice, for instance, we'll, we'll start practice tomorrow. We just have to have a good Tuesday. You know, I thought um, – this bye week, we practiced well. I wasn't real comfortable with all the practices the week before just because there were so many things to cover with, with a new team. There's still an awful lot to cover, but there's a difference between the first and second game as far as covering every single little thing. Well, their secondary coach and I office next to each other, and their defensive coordinator is the guy that I actually replaced, <clears throat> and he left and went to the NFL, and then he went back. So, and there's a few friends that I that I made while I was up there that uh, that I'm hoping I'll get a chance to see. But you know how that is; it's an early game, and yeah. and uh, we're we're kind of tied in. But uh, there's always friends when you go somewhere for a year. Uh, yes and no. I th I think uh, they try to implement more of that attack style. They're not throwing like the Purdue team that I was a part of and the Purdue teams in the past, but they do have a very accurate quarterback, and he's, he can throw that long ball. And every single game, they, make a, they take quite a few shots with the deep ball. So he, he can throw the ball, they can throw the ball, but they've implement, implemented more running style, read zones and some things along those lines. Well, we'll see. Um, I thought we, we focused on ourselves. We really didn't <clears throat> work on Purdue or anything per se. We needed to focus on ourselves. You know, uh, after looking at the SIU film and looking at that game, I thought uh, just the fundamentals, the basics, the footwork. Footwork's a big, big part of football. And I thought some of those things suffered. And uh, we, we went back a little bit to the basics, cleaned up a few things, competed against each other. We wore pads every day just to make sure that the pad level and things are down. And uh, I feel like it was productive. We'll see in the next week or two. Oh, there'll be some changes. We hadn't changed it yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> there'll, there'll be some changes in the depth chart by the time we play Purdue.